Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead, together with my son Henry. We have something um, very cool to show you. Where are we going, Henry? To a machine. A machine. What kind of machine is it? A wood chipper. A wood chipper. Let's go check out the wood chipper. <laughs> okay, so we are on our neighbor's property right now. Uh, this is where they took down a bunch of forest uh, a couple of years ago and I, I never think it's pretty when uh, such big pieces of forest are just taken down and the big machines enter everything but down there you can see the branches which is just piled up and over there is another one of those piles and there are actually two wood chippers there now you might have seen our video from our wood chipper which we use just for smaller things but this is a real big machine not a very modern one it doesn't seem like but uh, maybe there are let's get closer and take a look so here we are we actually have two different wood chippers here and both guys are in there it's a little bigger than ours wouldn't you say so one of those containers, it has 40 cubic yards in there of wood chips when it's full. And then the truck just comes and loads it up. The brand here is Valmet, which is uh, basically Volvo, I believe. It used to be Volvo, then it became Valmet, now it's even something else, Valtra, I believe. The problem with these big machines is that they get so heavy when they're loaded with logs or with uh, wood chips that they just break so much forest floor in times like this when it's not frozen in the ground yet and it has rained a bunch so the ground is soft. Now this thing is controlled that when it gets too heavy for the chipper it automatically stops till it is up in RPM again and then um, it continues to, to feed the chipper with the branches. hospital from us they receive they receive 10 trucks sometimes of uh, three containers each um, with wood chips that's how much they burn at times to, to heat the hospital and everything so these machines have two separate engines one that is driving the actual chipper and one that is uh, driving the, the machine and um, the guy actually, I just talked to him, he couldn't tell me how many horsepower exactly that we have. But I'm sure that one of you guys who knows these machines is going to be able to write a comment and, and let us know. Now this here is what I was talking about, how the machines are just breaking the ground so much now that it's so soft. And this is just from these two machines driving in here. And when they will drive out, they have 40 cubic yards of uh, wood chips and they're gonna sink in I bet a meter about three feet deep this ground is so soft just how much damage they create that's why we that's why we have smaller chippers and try to do as much as we can with that obviously at times you need these bigger machines but then ideally we always try to get them when it's solidly frozen on the ground in the winter time there's some connections and that's when we try to get them. Here you can see that they lay thinner pieces of wood into the ground so they don't sink in as far. But boy oh boy do these machines break the ground. They damage the roots of the trees. So I just realized that but those are not two chippers, they're actually two machines and the chipper there, you see it, he's dumping his load 
into the other machine and he's driving it out now gonna dump it by the road so these are not the containers they're two different systems sometimes they dump it out and sometimes they chip it in containers this is where they dump it out and the truck is gonna come and pick it up so let's see if we can get some footage of when he's dumping it out there the machine is coming check it out That is one big lot of wood chips in there. And now he's gonna dump it on the side of the road so the trucks can come and pick it up. The mailman is coming, yeah? <laughs> wow, he actually is not dumping. I'm surprised. He's loading it, unloading it. Maybe this machine can't dump. Interesting, I've never seen this before. Usually they just dump it out. Now this stuff is pure gold for your garden and for your deep bedding for the animals. We have a pile like this laying on the side of the road, we actually drove it out so the machines don't have to drive in the forest, they can stay on the road. We drove it out with our uh, with smaller machines, so there's not as much damage and we would need to have some stuff chipped up. Look at this beautiful material though. what do you think about the machine? It's nice. It's nice? It's big, that's for sure. Henry, come closer to me. I believe anybody who has ever made it back to Eden Garden is just starting to cry right now. Seeing how many wood chips there are here and how easy it is for the machine to move them. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, the machine is just finishing unloading there and then they're gonna head back into the forest to get the, the rest of the wood chips there. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Henry and I are gonna go home now, right? <laughs> no, 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 not again. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. <laughs> Where are we going now? Which way? Home. We're going that way home. See you. Bye-bye.